Hi, I'm Jeff Payne and I'm a preventive maintenance instructor with Caterpillar and today I want to talk a little bit about troubleshooting low power complaints on a uh, excavator. I've got a 320 here behind me and people often ask me um, how do I go about troubleshooting if I got a low power complaint. Typically I want to start out with some of the simple things. I want to look at air filters, at the common restriction there, you know if you get a restriction you're going to have low power. Then I want to move to fuel filters. Fuel filters is another good place of having low power. If it's more than that, if it's low power, I need to find out if it's truly a low power situation or if it's a perceived low power situation. So there's some things I can do on an excavator like this. I can try to do some like cycle times. Now those cycle times are not located in the operation and maintenance manual. You'd have to get a service manual to get those times to find out what those uh, swing times and stick times and boom times and basically what that does it gives you a time you use a stopwatch and you move a stick or a boom or a bucket from one closed all to the open position or up or down and you'll time that and see how those times are and that'll give you a reference if those times are within spec or without a spec that'll help you know whether you do have a low power problem or not. One of the other things with low power that people often overlook is, can be something that's as simple as doing a valve adjustment. Valve adjustments are called out in the operation and maintenance manual. They need to be done at specific intervals in the service and I see a lot of people overlooking those valve adjustments. Now whether you can do those yourself or not, that's up to your mechanical abilities. But if you need help with that, you can always go to your cat dealer to get your valves adjusted. So like I said, let's, let's refresh here. I want to start with restrictions, so I want to look at air filters, fuel filters, start with the simple things. I never like to do anything that's too hard, too quick. I want to start with the simple, easy things for low power. Then I'm going to check my swing times, my stick, boom, bucket times, see if those are in spec or out of spec. And then I'm going to move on to more difficult things like adjusting the valves on there. For more information on this, you can look in your OMM to find out the intervals when those need to be done. And you can always contact your local cat dealer.